Hey there, Mike Dixon. Welcome back to the channel. We have the full review of the T-Mobile Rebel 6 Pro uh, live coming at you right now. I picked this up in, right around uh, shortly after Labor Day. Picked, happened to get this phone uh, on a $50 special. I'll go into the details at the end of the video, but I really want to cover the hardware and software and, and my time with this phone. So pretty much there's the box. Uh, just get a cord, no power brick as always with now today's phones. Uh, you know, the paperwork that you don't read and a SIM injection tool. So, so here's the phone I'm covering right now. The serial number is painted on here. So I really prefer not to let the world see the IMEI number and some hacker get in here and, and really put the, put the, you know, what on me. Uh, the back of the phone, a uh, four camera module. And we'll talk about the cameras in a little bit. I just want to go over uh, over the the physical side, you know, the physical parts of the phone here. Um, matte finish, as you can see, I've been touching this. There's no grease marks on this. I will admit that's nice, but it's still fairly slippery. Put this on like on the edge of the arm of a chair. It still seems to uh, it's like a grease pig. Okay, I put it it's the best I can. Uh, we'll start it around the the, the device fingerprint sensor and acts as a power button uh, you get the magenta color i like that i like i i will admit i do dig uh, color accents on on buttons uh, you know especially the, like the power button uh, volume control up and down you know for uh, upper and lower uh, you know for volume control we have a uh, microphone at the top nothing along here except for your sim tray hey look a sim card which by the way you can uh, expand it you can expand this as much as two terabytes with an expansion card that's 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 nuts but the phone itself is uh, 128 gigs internal mind you this is the pro model and we'll I'll d discuss the differences some of the differences also at the end about the uh, plain uh, revel 6 uh, at the bottom headphone jack i don't know if it's coming there we go headphone jack microphone uh, type C charging as always and a single firing speaker which is at the bottom uh, as you can tell this phone I'm having difficulty getting in the frame it's huge it, it's a straight up huge phone uh, I'm going to pause this here because I want to put my case on it uh, so this way the number isn't always revealed uh, my serial number okay hold on okay back so uh, the other the other thing I've in my time having this, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, without a case, it's like a grease pig. It'll slide off of any kind of, it seems like any kind of surface personally. Um, the edges are very uh, squared off. And for my meaty, uh, numb sometimes fingers, it's difficult to pick up this phone. Uh, for me, a case was almost a, a given because uh, you, then you get this feel of, you're going to, it's going to not transition well from picking it up and putting it in your pocket or do whatever you got to do with the phone. So back to the, the uh, back here, let's go with the camera modules here. We're going to cover the cameras here real fast. 50 megapixel main, uh, main shooter, a five megapixel uh, wide, a two megapixel um, macro and a depth sensor with a flash. In front of it, it has a 16 megapixel front shooter. And I'm going to stick in this part of the video somewhere around here. I did a video on the cameras on this particular phone. I did like a video, stills, video, that kind of thing. Uh, as a whole, I'll talk about the cameras real fast. My, my findings personally, front-facing camera, you, you can kind of wash out. You, you Selfies are washed out. Uh, back cameras, not bad, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stick in here a, a, a post. I po uh, by the way, follow me on Twitter if you if you want to just keep up with my shenanigans under uh, Michael Dixon at C Ford Win One. Uh, I, I still I, I'm using my what was back in the day when I was into racing uh, account and I haven't bothered trying to do another account for videos. So yeah, uh, see me on there and I point out different things about phones. But enough about the plug about Twitter. But anyway, I, I posted on, on Twitter about the the inability to take a really good or an okay portrait shot. It was the it would tell you. To, I mean, it seemed like I was getting farther and farther and farther away to get a portrait shot on my on my subject, and I've gotten portrait shots a lot less in distance. 
and he really didn't do a any kind of job personally. I th- my what I could see, as I said, somewhere in here I want to be posting a picture of those pictures of those supposed uh, uh, portrait shots. So that's pretty much about the cameras. Uh, video was okay, no stabilization at all. Um, it 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 did have issues sometimes focusing on a subject in the video. Uh, stills again were fine, serviceable, and and definitely you'll get your you know Instagram. You could do Instagram with that. Not about I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't know if there's a setting. Well, let's see here. Let's open up the camera. Let's look at some of the settings here. We're going to go to more. So in the camera settings, we have a pro setting, panorama, uh, slow motion, hyperlapse, micro, uh, macro. I keep on calling that. And then what is it? Oh, this is 50 times. You know, the camera settings, my bad. I really don't get into playing with the camera settings. There is a pro setting here, and then apparently you can adjust your, your ISO, your white balance, you know, on down the line. And that's just not my, just not my bag. I just like to pick up a camera, a, a phone camera, and point and shoot. Like, like that. Okay? I mean, you know, it, there's a, there's a, a fairly decent picture using the rear camera. Now, I'm going to actually... We'll go and show you while I'm shooting the video. Okay, now that's going to make me look like a liar. See that picture there? Oh, man, it's a brightness is a little high on this. Let me get this down some. I feel the pictures uh, in this uh, of, of past selfies, it, it makes me yellow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It just blows me out. I'm in a white room, as you can see. I've got plenty of lighting here. So I don't know what you think of that picture, but but uh, selfies were not exactly uh, one of those things uh, that I was impressed with. But let's take a pause for a moment. This is a budget phone, folks. Okay, so if I'm being real critical, I'm I'm just spoiled by phones like well, my Pixel's over here being used. I don't want to bring that out. You know, phones like the uh, OnePlus Nine here. You know, it, it takes decent decent photos. The Pixel is the king king of photos. So I got to, like, reel myself back in. And be, let's be real here, here for a second. A $220 phone that is doing a, a fair job of get, grabbing photos and videos. Uh, people are going to be picking up this phone. And I'm going to be repeating this. The pick up, people are going to pick up this phone because they're in a pinch. They're, maybe they don't have the money for one of these these kind of phones. Um, you know, the, the payments, whatever the case may be, if they have $220 in their pocket and don't want to be tied to a carrier, this is this has been this is this is a good phone to start off with. But before I I know I said that too soon, and, and if you if please don't roast me in the comments. But let's just, I got to stop and say this to myself and to you all out there about, about things like this. We're really harsh on, on different things about what these, what phones can do. But let's get back into the phone itself and what some of the positives are with this phone. Uh, let's, let's do some positive things. The operating system. Okay. It is straight up. They took a page out of Google. They took pages out of the Pixel. It's running Android 12. It has 128 gigs, has expandable storage. You can't get that in a phone like this. You can't get that in the Pixel, okay? The, the, the software that came on this device is phenomenal. It, and I say phenomenal because what I think about three apps I deleted or, or, or four stopped, I think about three, uh... Yeah, no for no game apps. This is the only game I added. I added that game. I added Telegram, uh, T-Mobile Tuesday. I added the Twitter. I added. I added my own because I like the Google Contacts. It is so googly. the The phone app is an older version of a Google Google phone app. the The Contacts is a older version of a Google. Back in a day, I mean, let's 
fingerprint sensor on this on here. There we go. Face ID. Face unlock. Okay. NFC. That's what that little N means. NFC. It is wireless charging. Where can you get today a budget phone for $220 that has wireless charging? I didn't think so. Uh, 15 watt, by the way, 15 watt fast charging. Not the fastest, but I will admit yesterday, we're going we're gonna to go into the battery. But as far as charging is concerned, I came home with 2% on the battery intentionally. And probably I threw it on the charger. I wasn't desperate for it. Maybe it went an hour or so, hour and a half. It was full. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm being truthful about it. Was, I put it on the charger to use it, other phones. That's my only detriment here. You know, I'm not a person living with one phone. And, but it seemed it was okay. And uh, the battery, 5,000 milliamps. And then why I did what I did was I literally got three days of battery almost three days on this phone. Now, out of those three days, a day and a half combined, combined a day and a half of, of usage. The other day and a half sitting around in my bag because I didn't, I just wasn't using it as much as I normally I was doing. I proceeded to put my work information, my work Google account on here and and I started I'm starting to use this phone as one of my work lines I'm transitioning from one number to another and using this so I that was another thing I was putting through the paces call quality is great on this phone uh, I wanted to put that on here it's showing I wanted to show the 5g it should pop up a 5g uh, you see uh ultra capacity and uh, connection has been really good. I will say that's one thing about this phone. I was on the phone talking to somebody on the way home. And there's a certain part coming home off the off the bridge from Delaware into Jersey. And there's just a straight up dead zone. Absolutely just, just annihilates all phone coverage. Uh, even on US mobile, it's a little, it's a little rough. But this phone managed to hang. It still had some burps, had a little. But nowhere near like compared to regular like uh, like mind you, this has got all T-Mobile secret sauce in here, so it's going to do what it can to pull in pull in a signal. Um, let's talk about the screen. 720p, 6.8 inches on a diagonal. Now, in the room, in the house, in the dark, <laughs> like a dark, you know, it it looks great. It looks wonderful. But let me tell you, get outside, mm, little 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 bit of toughness, a little hard to see. You're doing a little bit of the squint, squinty thing. Uh, on the sides, as you can see, now I, here, let me, let me turn this up. On the side, you know, you get the, you know, this is the, and I will admit, at times when something comes across on a phone, okay, brightness, brightness, bleh, brightness is all the way up on this. Brightness is not all the way up on this. And you can see the brightness levels right there. Okay, you could on the angle axis, and 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 I'm pointing this out because at times you know you're you're sitting at the table and it's, you see a, you know you're just a junkie on on Twitter in my case, and I see a notification, I'm trying to read it from the angle. You know that's that's my that's my thing. I, I want to be able to, to see things from a, from a distance. I thought I paused the video by accident. Anyway, so the screen is 720. It gets the job done. 60 hertz uh, refresh rate. Again, budget phone. This is what you're going to get on a budget phone. But don't, you know, let, let, let's let's wind up this video right now. I'm 16 minutes in here, and hopefully I can chop some of this down. Let's talk about some of the things. And I want to also cover what, what the deal was about getting this phone. Uh, look, it's a huge phone. I'll say it straight up. It's huge. Plus and minus there. There is a plus there and there's a minus. The plus, look at that real estate, okay? I mean, outside of covering up the speaker here when we're playing games, you got a lot of real estate here, okay? It came, oh, that's right. There is one bug I had. I had one bug and I got to post that on here too. The bug was that I could not, could not get <laughs> any game to work. And I was trying to start off with my angry birds. Nope. Nope, nope. 
And uh, apparently uh, TechRite, uh, another YouTuber who really had me thinking about this. Well, he was the one who actually put the poison in my head uh, that this phone was on, on sale. You know, he, had, he mentioned about where he had to do, and I had to do a factory reset. So, yeah, that, was, that wasn't that was fun. Uh, it is, like I said, on Android 12. Uh, it's on July security patch. And what I've read in before that uh, T-Mobile does do a okay job of supporting these phones. Will get Android 13? I would hope so. There's no word on that. And stick with the channel. Uh, and, and of course, if there's any breaking news on a Rebel, T, uh, Rebel 6 Pro, I'm going to make a video of it if, uh, pertaining to the software. Uh, I'm all over the road, and I love every minute of it. So let me get back to <laughs> wrapping up this video. And, and I, I, I didn't want to forget it. That was my only real hiccup was I had to do a factory reset so I can play games uh, on this phone. Was The deal was $50 you can walk out with this phone. Well, not to get into another video, or, you know, it, in, in the end, I'm paying $2 a month. I'm paying $2 a month for this phone. Uh, and, and you can get the Rebel 6 for free. All right. Now, the difference between the two is 128 gig and this massive size or a, a much smaller not tiny but smaller size phone 64 gigs 100 uh, let's say 5000 milliamp battery in this one 4500 milliamp battery in in the rebel 6 uh, same dimensity 700 uh, uh, soc in it um, again the Dimensity 700 is, I'm I'm okay with it, other than having that glitch, having that moment of where I got to do a, a reset. And it, it was just good to hear from somebody else. Uh, it wasn't just me. It was, you know, so there, if you happen to get this phone and you couldn't game on this phone or, or please, in the comments, in the comments, share, share your experiences if you happen to have this phone. Can I recommend this phone? Can I, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I could re recommend this phone to somebody. I have several people in mind in my in in the family and friends of, of of folks that are not power users. They're not looking for a Pixel. They're not looking for an iPhone. They just need a phone. They need a good phone, and uh, they're they might be a little heavy on the apps. They might be heavy on on downloading video. Uh, you know you know netflix or music or whatever the case may be 128 gigs mind you 128 gigs for this phone uh, you know in, internal storage and expandable where can you get a phone today that has a face id or face unlock i mean a fingerprint sensor that's physically hardware in it not in not one of the junky ones that are in the screen uh where can you get wireless charging for a phone of this kind I think T-Mobile and whoever built this phone, I'm not sure, it has a lot of ringtones I've heard in the past, especially notifications. Of course, I didn't get one yet. Uh, the notifications and sounds to me like an old Motorola notification. So I wonder if uh, Lenovo was behind this. But um, you're probably screaming at me in the comment section right now saying, are you nuts? Are you crazy? No, let's keep it real, folks. Let's keep it real. Let's think about the people. It, 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 you know, everything's gosh darn expensive. Not everybody has great credit. Not everybody has the ability to go out and buy a $1,000 iPhone. Okay? And, and some of the stuff that, you know, we cater to, we love to play with is, is overkill. This is a decent phone. The Rebel 6, I think, would be a... Mm, I would recommend that if they don't mind the chunky size. So, that's my thoughts on the Rebel 6. That's my... No more of my thoughts. My time with it, uh, it it's now going to be used for my work. And and I, I'm confident with it. That's why I did what I did. And, and I will report back and if there's any updates, anything new uh, on the device. If you happen to make it through this much of the video, uh, Revel, R-E-V-V-L, put it at the bottom. All right, I'm curious. Uh, if you're new and and you put that here and you've never, you know, seen this channel, uh, why don't you consider, uh, you know, becoming a subscriber? Join join the membership here. Uh, and, and members who are returning, seeing this uh, video, 
Thank you very much, as always. Uh, I'm Mike Dixon. This is Joker Tech. And as always, enjoy your tech. I'm out.